Hey guys and gals, what's crack a lacking? Spicy here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. As you can see here, and as you can tell from the title of the video, we're doing another ammo can review. Uh, now, stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to need your help and your uh, opinion on the next video that I'm going to do with these uh, ammo cans. Let's get into this review. <laughs> All right, so what we got what we got today is um, y'all have seen the review that I've done on these two boxes, the American Made Ammo Box and the Stout Stuff China Made Box. If you haven't seen that video, there's going to be our card up at the top. Check that out. I've done a little review on these two and my opinion on these two cans. Also, I've done just a little simple test to test uh, if any moisture gets in the box. Boom, I have another our card up at the top. Y'all can check that out if you want. Um, and we'll be doing some more tests on these box uh, boxes as well. Now, today, um, I have a request from Annie Gaddis. Um, she wanted to know about the the Plano uh, plastic ammo can. Uh, you get this can from Walmart. Um, this is also American-made. Um, now, from the get-go, what I don't like about this box... Um, is it does have just like the other ones it does have a rubber seal that goes all the way around the inside and when it closes up you can see that it has a lip and it goes it closes but there's one downfall that I found that I need to figure out if it's uh, good or bad right here you see you can put a little lock on it if you want to lock your ammo can but whenever you open it up it's flat right there so whenever you close it, it stops right there. Now to me, it seems like right here on the edge, on this corner right here, it doesn't let it seal. I mean, that's plastic to plastic. Um, so I'm worried that this can will allow moisture to get inside this box. Um, and with, with this plastic box, um, these metal these metal cans they're going to be a lot more sturdy uh, than this plastic box obviously i mean you can tell that i can move this lid around uh open it up i can squeeze it from the inside uh, so it's not going to be as sturdy as this one stacking them up uh, i'd be careful stacking them up um i wouldn't stand on this one like i would use this one for a step stool or something like that or a seat um Something I didn't mention in the last video when I was doing the review on these, I'll mention it now. With the American Made Ammo Can, you're going to get this can from uh, eBay, uh, Army Surplus Store, something like that. These cans have been used before. Um, with them being used before, these cans have had ammo in it. And with ammo comes the, bullet, the projectile of that uh, bullet, and which is made out of lead. Uh, so this uh, ammo can is going to have lead particles in it. Um, so as far as storing food or transporting water, uh, if you're out camping or something, you need to take water from one place to another one. I wouldn't use this ammo can um, to do that with because of it having lead in it. Um, the stout stuff uh, ammo can that you get that from Walmart that's China made is brand new. It does, it's never had anything in it. So as far as if you're camping or if you're out in the woods um, and you're out there for a while you need to transport water from one place to another and don't have anything you can use this ammo can because there's not been any bullets in it same thing with this plastic ammo can um, it's, it's plastic it's never had anything in it. it's brand new I would feel uh, safe storing food or using this to transport water in um, now, as far as the prices of each can, the American Made Ammo Can, you're looking at between $15 to $18 for this American Made Ammo Can, depending on where you buy it. Um, I, I think I found one ammo can before, like I said, around $13, but it was just one. I, it was luck. Um, the Stout Stuff Ammo Can, $12 at Walmart. 
And actually, right now at my local Walmart, these are on sale for eight bucks. I'm probably gonna go get another uh, couple of these just to save money. Um, this put this Plano ammo can. Uh, they have the the tall one, this one here, and they have a shorter one about from here, from my hand up. Uh, these are only five dollars at Walmart. You can't really beat that price um, for an ammo can. But again, uh, with further testing, I will I will determine if I will keep ammo in this uh, box for long term, like I would these two uh, ammo cans here. So I tell you what I'm going to do in the next video. I'm not going to do it in this video because it'd be way too long. In my next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a five-gallon bucket, fill it up with water, and we're going to submerge each can in that water. What I need your help with is in the comment section below, leave, uh, leave a comment of how long you think I should leave an ammo can underwater submerged. Uh, three minutes, five minutes, four minutes? I'm not going to leave it for an hour. Um... But, you know, three, four, or five minutes, that will let us know if any water will seep through the seal and get into the ammo can. And that will, that will let us know if any air or moisture can get in as well. Uh, so leave me a comment in the bottom. I will take a tally of all the comments and do a little average. And in the next video, that's how long we'll have it submerged in, in the water. But, uh, Annie, for, for, your, for your comment, for the price of this box being $5, um, it's, not a, it's not a bad buy. I wouldn't buy a whole bunch of them like I would these two cans, only because these are stouter than this one. And um, if something happens, if I dropped it, I don't think these are going to uh, break or crack as much as this one would. Um, so that's just my opinion. Uh, leave, leave your opinion in the bottom. What do you think of each can? Obviously, we're all about American made. Um, uh, so we like these, these American made boxes, but for the price of this, uh, stout stuff, China made box, you really can't beat the price. And that's going to be, that's going to be in my, my opinion on them. So hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> my father law is coming with the, coming on the tractor. Okay. So that's going to be. That's my, my opinion, my review of the, the ammo cans. Leave me your opinion in the comment below. Which which boxes do you like the best? Um, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Remember, uh, keep, keep a lookout for the next video of me doing the test, the water dunk on these boxes. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Remember, everybody's got a little backwoods in them. I'll catch you later.